Everyone is using ChatGPT today. But what if I told you that right now, on your laptop, you could be running an artificial intelligence model that is smarter than most humans. It's like downloading Nikola Tesla's brain on your computer. You won't need ChatGPT subscription and it's totally for free. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to download this digital genius directly into your machine. I will use two powerful tools named Olama and LM Studio. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed, a professor and top rated online instructor. I've taught over half a million students around the world. On the channel, I help you learn AI, large language models in a simple, practical and fun way. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the two tools that I would like to share with you today First one is called Olama, and the idea here is that instead of using ChatGPT, which is, think of it as an artificial intelligence brain, but it is available on OpenAI site, and you won't be able to download the entire intelligence to your machine. So it's basically a closed source. What we have here is an open source large language model. So what you could do is you can, using Olama, you can download a ton of models and you can download all the weights. Think of it as the entire brain locally on your computer. So if you go ahead and click on models, you should be able to see all the different models here. DeepSeek, this is a Chinese AI model or large language models. You can find Quen here from Alibaba, for example. If you scroll here, you should be able to see Llama from Meta and a ton of available models. You can just simply go ahead, download Olama and then you will have access to all these different models. The second one, which is called LM Studio, which works pretty much the same. You can find this is your local AI toolkit. You also have access to DeepSeek, Llama, Quen models, and so on. So really all you need to do here, if you go back to Olama here, if you go back, you can just click download and it's gonna ask you, okay, do you wanna download for Windows, for Linux, or for Mac OS? You can just click on download for Windows and that is gonna download it here for you. And if you go back to LM Studio, you can just simply click on download LM Studio for Windows. You can also have the option to download it as well for Mac OS. You can just follow the instructions. And when you are done, let's go ahead and download our first model. All right. So here we have our LM Studio up and running. So once you just follow the steps and open LM Studio, you should be able to see this window here appears. And it's pretty straightforward here on that discover button if you just click on it you should be able to see a world of possibilities so every open source model that is pretty much powerful and available out there is available here for you to download locally on your computer for example you can find here if you scroll down there is deep seek model here if you would like to run it locally we also have quen model as well by alibaba if you scroll down, you should be able to see here Llama as well, Llama model by Meta. And all of these models are open source and ready for you to use. If you scroll down, you should be able to see as well all the different size of the model itself. For example, here you should be able to see Quen 3 1B. That means we have 1 billion parameters in that model. And that means it's quite actually a small model. If you see here, there is a Gemma 3, it's actually 27 billion parameters. So let's go ahead and download a sample model and play around with it. All right, so the model that we're gonna use today is the Quen 2.5 model. And if you hover on top here, you should be able to see this model can process image inputs. If you see here, for example, this green icon, that means it has reasoning abilities. So if you go ahead and just click on this one, here you can see the model who actually developed that model. If you scroll down, you should see just a quick kind of description of that model and what it does and the size is around six gigabytes of memory. If you go ahead and just click on download, that is going to download our Quen model. And in a few minutes, we'll be able to run our model locally on our computer. All right, so here we go. Now the model was downloaded and you should be able to see load model. So if you just click on it, now you should be able to see here, the model is being downloaded and it's gonna take a few seconds for it to be ready for you. So now you can just simply click here and it's going to tell you, well, Quen model is ready and available. And you can just click on create a new chat. And here we go. So now you have a chat GPT, but it's actually running locally and for free. 
So let's go ahead and give it a try. Maybe what is the capital of France? So let's go ahead and run it. And now Quen model is going to tell you what the capital of France is Paris. You can go ahead and ask it any question you think of. You can also here upload as well or attach a file. And it has also vision capabilities too. So let me show you what I mean by that. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free, but it helps us a lot. And if you'd like to go deeper, please go ahead and join our free AI community. It's a great place to connect, ask questions, and learn from others. As a bonus, you can find all the slides, prompts, and data that I use in all my YouTube videos. So what I can ask it first, well, I can go ahead and ask it just simple questions, write a Python code to train a machine learning classifier to detect fraud transactions at a bank. So let's wait and see. And here we go. It's going to tell you, well, to train a machine learning classifier to detect fraudulent transactions. This is simply what you need. So you need all these different libraries, scikit-learn, pandas, and so on. And here we go. So you have an AI model running code and generating that code locally on your machine. How incredible is this? OK, so what I want to show you next is, well, maybe let's test the creative ability of these models. So you can just simply click Stop here. And what you could do is you can say, I would like to write an email that congratulate my coworker, Sarah, for getting a promotion. So let's go ahead and run it. Now we're talking to Quen, and here we go. So now we should see a nice email that is being drafted here. It understood that I'm talking to Sarah, and it's actually pretty good. It looks like a human who wrote this. Now what I could do, we can ask it, well, could you please transform or convert that into a poem? So let's wait until this is done. Now I can go ahead and run it. And please note that every time you run it, now you are simply sending a number of tokens to that model, and then you're getting tokens back. And you should be able to see the count of the total number of tokens sent there to the model and back as well. So here we go. Now you should be able to see this became a poem. So it looks like in words to true and light, I wish to stay with all my might. Congratulations, the rise to senior AI product manager. You are the prize. Pretty cool, actually. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see here the number of tokens. This is 216 tokens as an example. All right, so what I would like to do next is I would like to test these models that are running locally into their ability to extract information from existing PDFs. Let me show you. So now if I can go ahead and click on attach a file, and it's going to tell you, well, these are the requirements for file attachments. I can just click on upload file, if you click on it. Now I can go ahead and navigate to Tesla 10K report. And now I can ask it, could you please tell me what are the key sources of revenue for, for Tesla? Let's go ahead and run it. And now these AI models will be able to scan through the entire PDF and extract information from it. So here we go. So now it's reading through that Tesla 10K report and extracting that data that we asked it to do. Here's also showing you the retrieval, the ability to retrieve information and the percentage wise as well. So what you see right now, it's basically chunking that file into pieces. It's doing embedding as well. And now it has processed that and here we go. So these are Tesla's primary sources of revenue. It's coming from automotive segment. Of course, obviously it's selling cars. It also has energy generation and storage segment as well. And all that data is grounded in the document that I uploaded here. All right, next, I would like to show you the abilities of this model to be able to read images and understand what's in that image. Let me show you. Now you should be able to see here, attach an image. You just click on it, click on sample image. And this image here contains a spring mass damper system kind of equation and a problem here. So there are a few questions here. Let's go ahead and just upload the image and just ask it, could you please solve this for me? So now it should be able to read basically all these differential equations. So it understood that this is a spring mass damper system. And look at this artificial intelligence, writing down equations, solving these equations, substituting in there, all of that for free and running on your computer. And look at this, the equations here are written, have been generated, still substituting here. And it's going to take a few, I would say maybe minutes for it to run, but you got the idea. All right, so the second tool that I would like to share with you is called Olama. And it's pretty much the same idea. You can get up and running with local large language models. So here you can have DeepSeq model, Quen model. You can have Llama as well, of course, from Meta. If you go ahead and click on models, you should be able to see here all the different models, all the different versions or sizes. For example, here, if you scroll down, this is a Llama model. 
you can download the 8 billion weights um, model you can get the 70 billion or the 405 billion if you go ahead and click on it you should be able to see all the different sizes here all the different context window and also what kind of input this model could accept so simply to download olama you can just go ahead click on download here and you have the option to download it for mac os for linux and for windows you can just say download for windows once you have that up and running all you need to do is to go ahead and go to the command prompt and you can simply say olama run and then specify the type of model that you would like to run so now i'm going to say i want to run run llama 3.2 model and let's go ahead and run it and now you are basically chatting with a large language model so let's go ahead and give it a try so now i can simply ask it okay what is the capital of france and here we go the capital of france is paris Let's go ahead and maybe test it with a bit of an advanced maybe example. Let's ask it, what can you please explain neural networks to me in a funny way? So let's see the creative ability of these models. And here we go. So now it's gonna tell you, well, a neural network is like a team of super smart friends who help you figure out what people are saying. And these are the input layer, hidden layer. Okay, it's pretty cool. You can also ask it to generate code. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So now I can ask it, write a Python code to train a machine learning classifier to detect fraudulent transaction at a bank. And here we go. And of course, you will notice that it's actually running quite fast because it is running on my machine. And here we go. So now it's generating Python code and it's even giving you an explanation for it as well. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and play around with all various types of open source models. And that's all I have for this video. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next